Jeff, congratulations on the win. That was uh, exceptional defence from your guys for 40 minutes. Yeah, it was. Um, look, we worked, I've said it before, we started official training in January. We played nine pre-season games. We played Embry River College during the season. Plus, what's that game tonight? That's our 30th game of the season. So we're very, very fit. And, and uh, but we spend uh, a good 40 minutes every training session on defence so, and very intense defence. So uh, we said at the beginning of the year that we need to rehearse finals basketball from day one. And as I think I said in the previous interview, uh, other than a few games where we were in a bit of a lull, uh, we worked that defence really hard from start to finish. Um, you know, well, our offence hasn't always been performing. Our defence has, and it's been a highlight of our season. So uh, we just worked it, and it's no surprise. We, we, we uh, you know, we just know these guys just keep giving, and we've got fantastic depth. So we give guys good rests, and so nothing's happening by accident out there. It's all happening on purpose. We work for everything we're doing, so and it's holding up. So we're yeah, extremely happy with it. Just more on that. You, you forced twenty turnovers, only committed ten yourself. You limited it to nine O boards. So that was something that, that really hurt you in the first game. I haven't seen the board. Yeah. Uh, it? it was thirty nine to thirty four, and you only gave up nine O boards. You yeah. got seven O uh, boards. So. We, we 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 did a video session today. Uh, we tried to keep it positive. We could, but we also needed to be honest out there. The guys needed to see what was happening. Um, and uh, look. Again, I'll say we, we probably average about 25 turnovers out of our opposition per game. Uh, and again, if you see the work we do with training to, 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 to get these guys moving laterally, uh, to get them aggressive on their switches, and to carry their hands into the contest in there, again, it's not an accident, it's done on purpose. And uh, we try to get as much pressure on the passes as possible so it's not hitting the guy who's got to step out of his cylinder in there. So we work really hard on those things, and they're important things, but those little one percenters it gives us that little fraction of a second longer to get a close out right and get them under control. Whereas last year we weren't getting that stuff right. Mackay was swinging it to the corners and then Blanchfield and Cedar and that were doing their job in the corners. So we've done a much, we addressed it this year and uh, we worked really hard on it. And again, it's just not happening by accident, it's happening on purpose because we, we've worked all season at it. Must have been pleasing to see Zach Carter really showed poise for you, hitting some big shots. And then Drew Phillips coming on, his energy and just his. Just brutal toughness getting to the rim. Was Look again, uh, we addressed those issues today. We, you know, Zach's got his critics in there. We love him. Um, you know, we see him at training every week, and uh, nothing he does out there surprises. The thing about Zach that, that people don't realise is he's an outstanding defender, and he's a very, very, very smart basketballer. So people expect him to be making all these shots. Well, he made some shots tonight in there, but. Uh, He's a very good basketball, very good all-round basketball. We love him. We, we, we don't want to lose him anytime soon. So, so the critics can talk, but we'll keep him. Um, Drewy, we again we addressed that issue this morning. We're pretty pretty uh, brutal in our assessment of, of how he played last night. When we say we're brutal, we it wasn't to beat up on him, but he needed to see the way he was playing. He never got out of first gear. He never got into a basketball stance the whole game. So literally, uh, using the words of our, our sports psychologist that we use, he literally switched his own computer off and just wasn't uh, functioning the way the big dog functions. So, uh, our philosophy is that you can't win finals with, with out of form players, with guys lacking in confidence. And, and one by one, we've, we've worked with each of the guys in the team and tried to build their confidence. And, and uh, Yuri is literally the last uh, guy in the team that we needed to get working. So, so uh, and I think he'll continue it tomorrow in there. So, again, it hasn't happened by accident. He's a great player, but we just had to get the right things into his head and, and uh, get him believing in himself again. You guys have proved with your intensity for defence for the full 40 minutes in nearly every game this year. You, like you've mentioned numerous times, you probably are the fittest team in the league. A lot of teams have tried to replicate it. Um, game three, you've got to be pleased, even though it's on the road. If you're the fittest team, it's probably going to go a long way on your foot. Oh, it is, and again, we, we've got good depth in there. We've got, still got, uh, we haven't used Seb Windsor yet. He's a fantastic little player in there, and I'm not, I'm not afraid to use him if I, don't, if I have to use him in there. Uh, what we did say, you know, from, from the outset is that we, at the start of the season, when we, we, we recognised that if we made the final, that we'd be playing Mackay. Uh, I sat back and watched teams play Mackay on the back foot and get absolutely clobbered by him. And we worked on this defence and we said, we're going to take it to these guys, we're going to ask questions of these guys, and, uh, and if they're good enough, 
had soft draws. They're not good enough, or we'll find out. So, but it's, we're not going to die wondering there. The defence is coming again tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to let up. It's going to be full court from the outset. And uh, you know, if we fall over and we don't get the job done, so be it. Uh, if we get the job done, my God, we've earned it. So. Joel, tough loss. I think uh, you guys jumped out of the gates really, really well. We were impressive. Hitting shots, Hobbs again was so impressive. And uh, Mick, uh, sorry, Chris in the first quarter for you. Brisbane just built pressure across the four quarters for their defence. Yeah, absolutely. We've got to give credit, full credit to Brisbane, their defence. Um, look, we did make adjustments to the physicality of their defence. Um, I think we're probably too focused on trying to get calls instead of just going out and hooping. Um, you know, but. Uh, yeah, look, once again, to their credit, you know, that's their style. We talked about that, handling pressure. We didn't move the ball and try to go one out. And, you know, we forced a lot of shots at the back end of the shot clock. So, um, yeah, definitely not ideal ideal offensively that night. But, um, and also, look, you know, defensively as well, we found out a little bit too. Yeah, they, um, they attacked the rim. They really attacked the rim all game uh, with aggression. The first game, they didn't do that. Out of that defense, they forced 20 turnovers. It's a team like that, you have to limit their, their possessions. Um, they did a much better job on the boards again. Is that something you want to address for game three? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, while, while we won the rebound count, it didn't, it, it, you know, that factor probably wasn't in our, in our favour tonight. I think, um, you know, the moments when we did get offensive glass, we didn't finish on second chance stuff, um, didn't get to the free throw line on a lot of stuff. Um, but look, I mean, you know, once again, to their credit, they made, they made some big shots when they needed to. I mean, I thought we, we were within six there with about two minutes ago, and I thought, look, we were an opportunity, but um, there was two big shots. I think Drew Phillips made one, um, and Jeffrey's made another big play. Um, they're big, big game players. So, uh, yeah, look, we're going to have to kind of, we have to go win the rebound count if we want to go win a championship. Um, and I think, you know, we've got to make some adjustments, adjustments offensively anyway to, to try and get back to, to our style of play. Yeah, early on, your, your shuffle action was really causing them problems, and and the guys seem to go a lot of one out and go away from that. So it's obviously frustrating for <laughs> quite a bit. Um, yeah, Drew Phillips tonight was a beast getting to the rim and yep. attacking. And I think Zach Carter really stepped up for them and did some big, big shots as well. Again, make adjustments on those guys or just... Yeah, look, I think our, it's so tough because our, our help side rules... Um, you know, you've got to kind of stay attached because you've got so many shooters on the perimeter and then that just opens up so much space for, you know, Drew and Ryan to get in the lane. So, you know, you kind of look at guys and you're going to give up someone, you kind of give up Zach Carter and Zach Carter made shots tonight and I think we helped off the corner on three occasions that that's, are against our rules. You know, he knocked down three threes and that stuff. Um, you know, shot the ball out a really good clip so now he's got confidence going in tomorrow. Um, but, um, yeah, look, it's, it's a tough one. You know, we tried zoning for a little bit. Um, was was okay in, in patches, but um, yeah, look, just defensively, we just weren't we weren't there, and we got tired. I think that was a big part of it as well. You mentioned before, Brisbane's probably been known as one of the fittest teams this year. They play that intense style, forty minutes non-stop. They're going to bring it again tomorrow. Um, do you think you got enough rest for some of your key players tonight to to be able to get through in the three game series? Yeah, that's going to be the question, eh? I mean, I I didn't want to go three games. Um, you know, they're geared for that. We're while well, we've done a triple header this season, and you know, you you hope your base fitness is at a level. Um, you know, it probably it's probably in their favour now. So um, we've got to get back and controlling tempo. I think uh, you know, if we can get into a half court grind, um, you know, and execute that way, still want to get out and run and, and do our stuff, but probably limit their detrain stuff. Um, I think that's going to probably you know work in our favour. But um, I think tomorrow it's not so much about the bodies; it's probably more about who wants it more and who's willing to go do do what it takes to go win a championship. Brisbane were showing that tonight. They were desperate. They were diving on the floor till the 40th minute and really showing it. And, and in, in patches, you guys were sort of taking the foot off the accelerator a little bit, which I know you're frustrated about. Your zone really worked and you got out and ran from it and then you jumped back out of it because they hit a couple of shots. Again, you're going to look at zoning him a bit tomorrow or...? Yeah, look, I think it'll be something that we use as a change-up. I mean, it did work in patches, um, you know, so it, I guess it depends on personnel who's on the floor and... I mean, you kind of live, you're living and dying by, you know, the taking away a lot of the threes, but then, you know, they didn't shoot the ball at the three that, that well. So, 
Um, for us, it's probably about limiting points in the paint. I think they scored 47 points in the paint, something like that. So, you know, now you go back to, all right, let's pack it in and see if they can beat us from the perimeter that way and live and die with that. I think it's probably a better option for us than, you know, giving up so much stuff inside. That's what I was going to say. The points in the paint, obviously, a lot of that led from their defensive trends and they got out and ran, but they really dribble penetration. First move, they'll put it on the ground and attack him. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, you're going to suck it in tomorrow and make him hit contested shots. I think that's the key. I think we've got to be able to keep the ball in front, um, you know, make them have to take tough contested ones, stay with our help rules, and, uh, you know, hopefully they miss more than they make. I think, um, you know, look, we, we're not panicking. You know, it's probably one of those things where we wanted to get tested, and, you know, tonight we got tested a bit, and I think the, the character of some of the guys is, is going to be revealed tomorrow, I think. So... You know, your whole game, your whole season comes down to 40 minutes, and you know, as I said, it probably comes down to who's got the desire to win a championship. Right now, they do, and we've got to go shape, change that. So we'll see how we go.